and welcome to your go market update for today and charts of the day for 23rd of march 2023 with mike smith senior analyst at go markets u.s equities gave up early gains to close the in negative territory subsequent to the fed rate decision which was as expected a 0.25 percent rise now, there was a suggestion made that there may be one more rise this year which as it came out was generally well accepted by the market a bit choppy at the time but nevertheless the drop was not attributed to the fed but rather comments by uh, the treasury head who used to be an ex-fed chair of course janet yellen uh, that the government would not bail out bank failures this spooked the market we saw that um two percent drop from or two percent swing from positive to negative territory on the nasdaq for example U.S. futures are, however, slightly higher in early Asian trading, but Asian indices are fixated on that weaker U.S. lead, the ASX. It is down around 0.8 to 0.85% at this stage, although there is some evidence of it coming off its lows. European equity futures are pointing to a lower open, and the VIX has edged up on that comment back to the 200 MA. U.S. dollar index dropped through the next support level. It's lower again in Asia, and gold, as a result, recovered a little bit from its recent pullback. To move back over 1950. I'm not sure that there's going to be enough momentum to take it back up to 2000 in the short term, but nevertheless worth keeping an eye on. Copper also edged higher and is back over $4 relatively comfortably, and oil continued to bounce off 18 month lows. So, good session for commodities generally. Bitcoin did retrace a little bit from 10 month highs, and if we look at what's coming across on the data front this Thursday, then it's really central banks which remain the focus to a large degree we've got the swiss national bank and the bank of england interest rate decisions later on of course we've got us weekly jobs as always on a thursday and we've got some housing data thrown into the mix as well for the markets to digest which will depend of course on how those comments from yellen whether there's any hangover from those over the next 24 hours or so a couple of charts that caught our eye uh, sunfire interesting uh, we have been looking at this stock for some time. Bounced nicely off its 200 MA. Just pulled back a little bit and paused around this 575. It's around about neutral today, despite that slight rise in copper. And that's just a general market malaise. But we think this could go higher from here and possibly up to test 630. If we look in the FX world, the US yen is worth a look. Here it is on the hourly chart. And you can see it continues to weaken. We are testing a key level at 130.86 here that we see on the chart. If we look at the daily chart for context, you can see this is lows on this particular pair, not seen since the end of January. So that bearish pressure after this retracement on the longer term continues on the USD. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.